Why should Christians be interested in the second coming of Christ? We should be interested because it will be the most wonderful event we could ever imagine. Our salvation will be complete. We will finally be able to love wholeheartedly, rejoice continually, and have a tremendous peace about everything. We will have the goodness and perfection that we all long for. One of the reasons people seem to shy away from the study of the second coming is because of so much confusion connected with understanding the timing of the second coming. Why is that? Most Christians seek to know the truth. Sometimes we're taught something that is not true, but we don't recognize it. If we build a system of belief on wrong information, then we have difficulty seeing clearly what is truth and what is not. In this brief video, we will look at three areas of confusion concerning what the Bible says about the timing of the Second Coming. They are, number one, the teaching that Christ could return at any moment. Number two, calling the wrath of God in the day of the Lord by the title Tribulation, or Great Tribulation. Number three, the teaching that the length of the Great Tribulation is a known amount of time, either seven years or three and a half years. What is wrong with the teaching that Christ could come at any moment? The Bible clearly states that no one will know the exact time of his return and that we are to keep watch. If we do not know the time of his return, then why could it not be today or tomorrow? The exact time is unknown, but Jesus told of several things that must happen before his return. The Great Tribulation, starting when the abomination that causes desolation is seen standing in the holy place, is one known event before the second coming. But aren't there two comings, one to rapture the church and one after the Great Tribulation to set up his earthly kingdom? There is only one second coming with many events. The first event of the second coming will be the rapture of the church. The rapture will be followed by the wrath of God. What's the difference between the Great Tribulation and the wrath of God? 1 Thessalonians 5.9 states that God did not appoint us believers to suffer wrath. Because of not understanding the difference between the Great Tribulation and the wrath of God, people have thought that 1 Thessalonians 5.9 showed that the church would be raptured before the Great Tribulation. It actually shows that the church will be raptured before the wrath of God in the day of the Lord. Christians have been persecuted for their faith in God from the beginning of the church. This persecution is continuing now. Jesus said that it would be the worst ever right before he comes again. The wrath of God in the day of the Lord is God's wrath against sinners. It begins after the Lord gathers his church from earth. This wrath will continue until Christ comes from heaven with his armies, stops the battle of Armageddon, and sets up his earthly kingdom. How do we know that the length of the Great Tribulation is not a designated length of time, either seven years or three and a half years? The first reason is that if the Great Tribulation continues for a designated length of time, people could know when the second coming would be. There is a seven-year period of time prophesied in Daniel 9 that is connected with the Great Tribulation. It can be determined that the Great Tribulation will begin in the middle of these seven years. There is nothing to indicate that there is any special tribulation during the first half of this seven years. But isn't the Great Tribulation three and a half years long? No. There are several events that will continue for the entire last three and a half years of the seven years mentioned in Daniel 9. But the Great Tribulation is not one of them. The Great Tribulation and the coming followed by the first six trumpets of God's wrath, must all fit into this three and a half years. This is covered in detail in Unit 8 of the Apocalyptic Puzzle. What should Christians do now to prepare for this time of great tribulation? The answer to this question is the same as the answer to know how we prepare for the problems of today and tomorrow. We seek to know God better and trust Him more. The study of the events surrounding the second coming of Christ is a great way to realize that God knows exactly what he is going to do, and has told us of many of these events in advance of his coming. The apocalyptic puzzle is an easy-to-follow guide through information about the events surrounding the second coming of Christ.